Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Atari Adam and welcome to another episode of Atari Adam. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a game review on an Atari 2600 game called Barnstorming, if I can show you here really quick. Uh, Barnstorming actually is um, quite, the, quite the thing to know about. Uh, before I get into the game I want to show you all what the history of Barnstorming is. Uh, what it was, uh, how big it impacted uh, American history actually, and then uh, I want to show you the final result of it all in the Atari 2600 video game. So before the game, here's the history. Enjoy. The act of barnstorming was a thriving event being highly popular in the 1920s. Barnstorming events consisted of an airplane and aerial act that would take place in the fields of farmers and during that time, earning the title of barnstorming. The acts would involve stunts performed by stunt pilots whom, while in the air, would leave their cockpit to attempt walking around on the plane's wings, switching planes with other pilots, playing tennis, and many other death-defying stunts, like the Charleston? Eventually, the stunt pilots started grouping together, making bigger shows. They started calling it the Flying Circus. The barnstorming craze and the accidents and deaths that followed are the reason why newer safety regulations were put into effect with flying, eventually leading to the end of a part of history that was one of the first forms of civil aviation. Now that we know what barnstorming is, I'm excited to load this fucking game up. I mean, who wouldn't want to? I mean, flying around in planes, jumping from plane to plane, playing tennis on the wings of a plane, getting out while it's in air, crawling around the cockpit, doing all these fantastic death-defying stunts. I'm ready to load this fucker up, so let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, barnstorming for the Atari 2600. And here is barnstorming. Now, after everything we just went through, I can understand how you might look at this and go, uh, yeah, not what I was thinking. And you're right. I wasn't thinking this either as a child. Uh, I didn't know what barnstorming was as a child, but this game is fun as shit. Um, it has really nothing to do with barnstorming. It's a literal concept of the term. I mean, you're a plane and you're storming through barns. I mean, that's that's exactly what it is. Now, to get to the game a little bit, at the top of the screen, you're going to see a number. It was just five. Now it's just four. And now it's at number three. And then it's going to two. Um, there's four levels of difficulties. The first level starts you off with ten barns that you have to storm your plane through. Um, and as you can see, I'm almost at one and done. The level is now done. Um, and you've got a time limit underneath that. Um, now, every time that you go through the level... It's going to start you off with 10 on one, and then as you raise the difficulty, there's four levels of difficulty, and the higher you go up, the more barns you have to storm through. Um, now, this game is a lot of fun with two players uh, because you have, let's say, level one, you have 10 barns to storm through. Now, in the process of trying to storm through these barns, you have to dodge these birds that when you hit them, they slow you down, as you can see. Um, I hit another one there, um, and you storm through the barn. You can also hit the windmills, which make this horrible crashing noise like that and um slows you down in the process as well so it's a really hard game actually well not technically hard but difficult when you're under stress and you're trying to beat another person's time uh like right now in 10 barns that i have to storm through i'm at the last one right now and i just fucked up um but 39 seconds 44 um so you know 40 seconds it took me to go through 10 barns now if you play against a friend boom they pick it up and then they got to try beating your time with the barns and then as you raise the difficulty the more barns you have to storm through um i really love the graphics in this game i mean if you pay close attention there's a lot of animation going on i mean the wings of the birds flap and if you look at the plane the propeller at the at the front of the plane actually spins or gives the illusion of spinning and the the pilot's cape actually flaps in the wind as it goes which is just amazing to me uh for atari you know all the different things that are going on with this um but yeah this is barnstorming in a nutshell um it's like i said it's it's fun to play with another person it's a good competition game or even yourself you know you uh try to beat your previous time in barns and that ladies and gentlemen is barnstorming uh, not exactly what we expected. Um, I know the graphics aren't the greatest. It's Atari. What do you expect? I mean, at this point, I'm talking about Atari games here. I'm not talking about Xbox 360. I'm not talking about PS3. I'm not talking about the next-gen consoles. I'm talking the fucking originators of it all. Atari. Four kilobytes. 
four kilobytes of graphic information. I mean, what the fuck do you expect, honestly? But, uh, growing up, barnstorming was a huge game. Uh, in my household, anyway. I know my brother and I, we used to play the shit out of it. We used to sit there for a good hour at a time playing barnstorming. See who can get the, the most amount of or excuse me, the, the, the quickest time limit and uh, upping up the, the level of difficulty because, you know, you start out with 10, you know, and then you go up from there, you know, next thing you know, you're doing 24 and trying to get it underneath a minute, you know, and it was a great competition game with your friends. Um, it was beloved in my household, it's beloved now by me, uh, it has that nostalgic uh, feel to it every time I load it up and play it, puts a smile on my face, and hopefully it does for you too after seeing this video. Uh, thanks again for watching bottom of the screen, all my links. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Keep checking out the channel for uh, new episodes. And most importantly, game on.